Hey guys, uh, James Quick here uh, today to talk about publishing an Azure uh, website from a local Git repository. So uh, I do a lot with Azure, a lot with websites with students, um, and a lot of different scenarios. So I wanted to look at some of the different options for actually pushing your files uh, to your Azure website. So I'll tab over to my Internet Explorer and I'll go ahead and create a new website here. So commute or compute web app, click create. I'll call it JQQ test, and this is going to go in the East Region App Service plan that I've already created before. I uh, click the checkbox here, and it's going to say creating. So I'll let that. I mean, it'll take maybe 30 seconds. Actually, nope, it's running already. So if I click into my website here, I can go to my dashboard and a couple of different things. Uh, so first off, I want to show. Um, in Visual Studio Code, and this is a new editor um, from Microsoft just released in the last month or so. Uh, it's kind of a lightweight editor in comparison to Sublime or Notepad++ or something like that. Uh, so I've got a really uh, simple jQuery mobile website here. This is actually just the beginner one that get, I copied and pasted from W3 schools. Uh, it's not really much content, just kind of a dummy website. I've got it saved as index.html in a JQ Quick uh, 223 folder on my desktop. And this has actually already um, been committed as a Git repository. So if we check uh, the command prompt and do a Git status on this folder, we'll see that it's uh, it's already been committed. It's a working directory and it's clean. So this, is, uh, this video is assuming that you've already got a commit done uh, to your local Git repo. Uh, so after you've done that, if you scroll down in this first page here for your website, you'll see a button here for setup deployment from source control. We're going to go ahead and click that. And you get all these different options. We'll start with a local Git repository, and then I'll uh, do a follow-up video with using GitHub as well. So we'll do local Git here. Uh, we'll do the next tab. This will take a couple seconds. And what it's going to do is basically going to create a Git repository that it's going to host, and that's going to be where our files go. So it says your Git repository is ready. Here's the URL. Uh, so they have step by step here how to commit or, and push files to the Azure deposit or repository. So we've already got Git installed. We've already committed our files. They're ready to be pushed. So what we want to do is we want to add the remote Windows Azure repository uh, to our, our just as a reference. So it's going to be Git remote add, and it's going to be called Azure, and it's going to be this link that's going to be our uh, repository. That's the same one that's up here just for reference. So I'm going to actually just copy in this whole script here into the command prompt. I'm already in my folder. I'm just paste that in. And okay, so I my ad, I've already done this so it already exists, but that's what you would do there. Uh, it'll say just added the repository uh, or the remote repository. Uh, so now that we've got it added, we can actually do a push. Uh, so we can just copy this script in as well, or we can just type it in. So it looks like git push, and then we're referencing uh, the remote repo that we just created called Azure, and we're going to commit from our master branch in our local repo. So press enter here, and I'll give the password uh, for um, for my website uh, deployment credentials. I forgot to mention that. I'll take a second here in a minute. So I did my password here. It's going to load, and I think it says it's, well, it's deploying, deploying, deployment successful. And now notice that I get taken to this deployment section that tells me I just deployed. So if I go to my website, which is jqqtest.azurewebsites.net, I get the dummy page. That website is now live from being pushed from my local repo. Uh, so the deployment credentials, that password that I entered, if I go back uh, to this cloud button and scroll down, uh, notice that I've got somewhere uh, reset your deployment credentials. So if you hadn't already created deployment credentials uh, and it's just username and password, you could come here under the publish your app. And since I've already got it, it's got my username and I just do a new password. Or from the dashboard, there is a link uh, before you have them created to create your deployment credentials also. So one step I kind of glossed over, but again, simple creating a username or password. Uh, so that's it, right? So we had the local repo. Uh, we created an Azure website. Uh, we created a remote repo that we could push to from our local Git repo. Uh, and we did that, and they gave us those, uh, those scripts that we could use that were pretty straightforward. 
So that's all it takes, and stay tuned. The next part will be uh, using GitHub to do the same thing. So we'll take a look in a minute.